us, we be fucking up. We be stupid on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, was clear that right? We gonna do whatever the fuck we want type shit. A girl, fucking she gonna fire. honor you. She gonna make sure. The girls, your like, daughters, so, your daughters gonna take care of you when you old. Yeah, sure you yeah. So that's good. You got the oldest it. one. That's a girl that's first. That's my baby. That's my baby. She. That's my baby. She gonna have a couple more responsibilities, but that's how I eat. She in Texas stunning. She thinks she cooler than everybody. <sighs> Definition of active. It's your boy Daylight. Yeah, yeah. and I got my brother Capo motherfucker bravado. Ah, look, baby, out of town. He out of town right now. Yeah, he is. Active. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro, I love man. it, bro. Like we oh, talk, yeah. and like I like it when we have the money talk, cause you, you a money talking nigga, so mm -hmm. you know what's up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean, like, and like even when crypto and all that shit started, you could tell it was like, okay, all right, this is what it is. All right. I seen my it. nigga take a loss on that shit, man. Shout out. Shout out my nigga O oh, man, I ain't gonna say his whole no, name, can't. but yeah, <laughs> shout out my nigga O oh, man. Yeah, I seen that Doge hit. Uh, once it was getting past seventy five cent and all mm. that, boy made forty bands overnight. He should have cashed out. I'm telling him that he like. Heard it's not easy to just cash out. No, though. they was trying to take. They was trying to take forty yeah. percent. They, they wanted forty percent of this shit. Crazy. Yeah. More, that's so, almost half. So he like, I'm gonna just leave it. And then he uh, flew out of town, and he was like, well, I ain't gonna treat my mom and dad this so I'm about to rent a Tesla, take them Man, out. We ballin', we up, we got free 40. I'm like, all right. <laughs> free and 40, man. why he in there, and he like, bro, those just went the fuck down. Nah, Warren <laughs> Buffett was said, in the negatives. He said, fuck that, he said, fuck that crypto shit. When Warren Buffett said it, until that nigga dies, and we can't get game from that nigga mm, no more. Mm. If he say some shit, he's like, he's like, I would never invest in it because it has no value to me. When he said that shit, I was like, ah, oh, that's enough for me, nigga. It make a little bit of sense. It's like another form of a bank account. Like once, mm. once I got the capital to invest it, I will. But it's not something I want to start with. I never see nobody cash out crazy. Yet. I think they all just leverage it. Yeah, they and they pull out slowly, like yeah. when they need to break in case of emergency. Yeah. Like you know, originally was playing with that shit like that. Like let me go ahead and pull a quick ten bands out of here. Really How much quick. is Bitcoin worth now? Probably like about thirty something, forty something. Forty two bands or something. I know. I know when niggas bought that shit when it was like a hundred dollars. Bro. Bought a bunch of it. I heard about Bitcoin early. I was working in California at the time at a dispensary around Buku Ridge White Man. So oh, I was hearing about this shit not when it was hundred, but when it was four hundred dollars. Somebody made the largest investment on it in Newport. They bought a Mercedes with Bitcoin. Damn. And and each Bitcoin was worth four hundred dollars. And nigga was telling me you need to get some. You should get some. I'm like, man, I don't know nothing about this shit. I'm young as the fuck too. Like I'm man, I'm straight, but I am making good money yeah. at this dispensary. I'm like, nah, I'm, I know I'm straight. Next thing you know, I learned about this shit. It's worth 20 bands. Yo! <laughs> if I would have grabbed, if I would have spent $2,000. Man, million, it's cash out, right? It's seven, eight out. years later, I'll have. <laughs> it's all right. Life don't work like that. Yeah, I ain't You know tripping. what I'm saying? I ain't like, tripping. it ain't something you get inside, man. Sometimes, you know, if some people got lucky. That's just how, and we get lucky in different ways. That's how it's going to go. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But. Uh, besides the money talk, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad we got that shit off rip so niggas know. <laughs> niggas know you yeah, ask how money niggas. But uh, let them know, uh, like, how you came up with your name, what out of town means, because it's bigger, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like mm -hmm. it's like a family, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, like, mm -hmm. you moved out here and transitioned out here and was able to establish yourself, you know what I'm saying? You're not home all the time, mm -hmm. and like that's like not easy for like an artist or entrepreneur, you know, to mm -hmm. be able to do that. Now you like able, you, you're a diving artist. You're in battle rap going crazy. You got your own weed strand and shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like yes, indeed. Big boss shit. You know what I'm saying? Jazz Long, my nigga. <laughs> a lot like, of wisdom. Let, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let, let it be real. Let them know how it started, man. Like when you first moved it. Like did it start crazy when you moved out here, or were you like did it start crazy when you was back in Louisiana? Uh, as far as me getting active. Yeah, like what would you say, like with music? With music, music here. Yeah. It started here. That's um, hard. It started here. And then it transitioned to New Orleans, just know how to spread shit faster. Mm. Like a couple more of our people on the internet. We're a little bit, you know, like, and I don't, I'm not saying that the Nike at all. No, it's you just, just it just bubble up. They just know how to get that shit floating better. But 
Nah, it started in AZ. Like, soon as my first performance was out here with a nigga named Devin Vega. Damn. You dig? Like, what back, that? back when he was booking Waka Flocka and shit. Damn. I got blessed. I met them soon as I moved here, you know? I met the people I recorded music with. My nigga Desmond, my nigga Daniel Jordan, rest in peace. Um, Damn. All, all them. Locked in yeah, the man. Jump. Yeah, yeah. Shout out my nigga Chris, too. I did not too. know that's when you did. Start. I did not know like, that's when you started doing music was out here. Yeah, I started. Like, I've been doing music my whole life, but I'm people in my family, like, really sign the labels and shit. Like, I got real artists in my family, so, you know, it's a very wait your turn system. Mm. So I wasn't really getting that shot, no. Because they like, you got to focus on your cousin. Mm. He, Birdman meeting with him right now. The Child fuck, you a little nigga. Damn. You dig? So, like. But they charge you up, though. Yeah, so like I always had that shit. Like I grew up around that shit. But it's just when I came here, I finally had studio access. Mm. And like when I learned how to record, and once I learned how to record myself, it was really a rap. You think that's important for artists? Like they should be able, they should record themselves or they go to the studio. Uh, no, I'd rather be with an engineer. Like once yeah. I once I got the right right amount right amount of budget for it, I'm gonna be in the studio with an engineer all day. Mm. I think you should just be in front of the mic with your hands not occupied. That's facts. Like, but as far as like getting it in, mm-hmm. you should be making five songs a day. So it's best you know how to record yourself. So that way, if you just got a computer and a mic in front of you, you can still knock out some rough drafts. References. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do real. five songs a day. That's mandatory. So yeah, that's, that's a good regimen too. Fucking right. Some, no, niggas I ain't just, some niggas just wait till they get to the studio and shit. They'll be having them ready, Mm-mm. wasting time. Like, Mm-mm. cause so, you need. Boy, this shit moving fast. Even yeah. if you do make a hit, where your next one? Mm. Yeah, they say you need to have 20 of them strapped and ready, so... At all times. Yeah, so now nah, I'm staying up. Like, uh, one, of our, one of my close people, my brother Malai, uh, he, he always says you need to have, like, a starting five. Mm-hmm. Like, five that you're, like, hella confident in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That, like, if, if you... If, you had a chance to meet with a label today. Do you got five mm-hmm. ones that are hella ready to go mix and master? You got a marketing plan behind them five. A lot of niggas don't have that. You gotta end, and guess what? You gotta treat them like bitches. You gotta be able to let them go. <laughs> you can't even grow a personal attachment like, oh, that's my favorite song, and you don't sit no. on music. You don't feel like. I can't. Mm. I mean, I, I'm I'm technically sitting on music now because I'm prepping to drop it all at yeah. once. But once again, the steady flow of things, I'm not staying attached to these songs. I hope it, they could grow with somebody else. I hope it make a moment for the world. Mm. They not That's not for me no more. I created. Mm. It was for me during the creation process. Once that shit done, it's for, it's for the world. That's a crazy perspective. I like that. Once yeah, you make so, it, it's for everybody, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Once, once it's out there, it's not even for me no more. But if it do do something great, I'm going to champion it for the time being. But I'm back to what's the next one. So what do you what do you think you like more, making music or, or, or battling niggas? Making music, easy, easy. Huh? easy. <laughs> My long shot, I'm a superstar. <laughs> no cap. It's a different feeling having people like go crazy to your bars to like having someone know all the words to your song. Yeah, like I love I love battle rap. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but. I'm really a guess in this shit. Yeah. You know, I just happen to be good at it. It's like a... Fucking VIP guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said I'm just a guess. I'm a that guess. Nah, for real, because I really feel I'm an artist person. I really feel I'm going to release that song that take yeah. me, like, to the other side. You think it's hard for battle rappers? I ask all, every battle rapper I interview, too. You think it's hard for battle rappers to make music? No. I, I, actually, for them, yeah. I'm different. You think different. you feel like that I'm because different. you was an artist mm-hmm. first? And then you transition to being a battle rapper? And nah, I could, I could get from their perspective, because battle rap is hard in general. You got focus. Yeah, you, yeah. you like, battle. if you really call cool that battle rap, there's a good chance you neglect your family. Not, not right. in no... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so That's serious, crazy. though. I'm They're so, trying to be in the zone and focus. I'm so serious, though. Explain that, you're crazy. <laughs> If you got in battle rap, you know, if you not, you a hell of a nigga. And I salute you. You Barack Obama. He said you if you, your family, nigga. That's the only choice you have. Bro, because I, I done been in the house with kids before, and I know how kids is. They don't stop. They don't. You be in the middle of a breakdown, they still need a uh, fucking fruit snack. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not stopping. So, like... They don't care about you practicing your rounds. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> if you able to sit around and you doing that and you memorizing 10 minutes of material, you crazy. 
You, I can't do it. Like, that's why my relationship's not working, because they start hating me. Like, no cap. Hey, I'm should, not playing. Hey, keep it in a I bag. get accused of cheating so much, I don't even got the time to cheat, because that's how booked up I am with battle rap. But yeah. I get accused of cheating so much, because I got to leave. I got to be by myself and really go over this shit. This shit is like comedy. This shit is like acting. This is a real... Yo, salute, salute to niggas that get accused of cheating. And this is the reason why I say this, man. It's not, you know, this. the reason why I say this because a lady wouldn't accuse you of cheating if she didn't know you was that nigga. Like, girls don't want to be with lanes. This is a side note. <laughs> girls don't want to be with lanes. If they wanted to be with a square lame nigga that would never run the risk of stepping down on them, you know, they would right. do that. They know what risk they take fucking with niggas like this. I ain't got no time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no time to cheat, though. Niggas don't be having no time to step out on nothing. They be focused on their goals and shit. You like, if we look at fire, I might look. Like, I might look at somebody. Like, I might even joke something. Like, I might flirt a little bit. But, like, as far as it is gone, that's as far as it go. Like, yeah. I ain't got no time. I ain't got no time to fuck. Because getting pussy, a whole six-hour process. I got to text you for, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> You playing with them text. I got to take a shower, put some clothes on. That's 30 more, 45 more minutes of my time. I take real showers, too. So, like, an hour. That's, that's, already two, that's already two hours dedicated to this bitch out of my life that I don't get back. I don't get back. And then, like, and then like I'm, I'm really end up doing push-ups before I see you and shit. Like, making sure, like, I'm really, like, stepping in your house so I can really get in. So, like... I spent three hours doing that. I spent an hour and some change. We fucking around, and then that other hour, I'm not a, I'm not a dog no more. See the dog, the old young me, super young me, used to just really pick up my pants like, all right, I gotta go. You there? What you, what you about to get into? I'm out. <laughs> young me used to do that. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I cut her up a little bit. Like I'm, I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna roll me a blunt. Yeah, that was fun when you did that and all that. So bang, that's another hour. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! Till I leave, that's six hours. So I'm not doing that with no. Bitch. That's almost a whole work shift for niggas. It. it that's more than. Do you not spend time shit. getting that pussy, bro? Yes. You got. You really no matter how it. player you is, you invested something, and time is the most expensive thing right now. And if you, you don't, invest in, you invest in your essence, really. Yeah, all like, it's an exchange. It, that yeah, yeah. it's energy exchange, right? Yeah. yeah so like, if you ain't invested in that shit, she ain't gonna get excited for so it. So me. So I be fighting a lot because I don't be getting time to be like. Once you accuse me of cheating, I feel played. Yeah, I feel disrespected. It's like you just like is my work my not playing off? Did you not just see me on World Star, mm-hmm. bitch? No, nah, for mm-hmm. real. I'm cheating. Nah, I feel like Where I'm I putting in time? work. Where I got time for that? Yeah, yeah I'm putting in work. Yeah. 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 You, my girl the other day about this bullshit. You, <laughs> you can't be mad because your job ain't fun like mine. That's what it be. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hold up, I'm man. I'm never gonna apologize. Hold for that up, shit. man. You chose your shit. I Hold up, man. Hold up. You like, just. I'll never apologize. Hold for up. That I shit, can't bro. even. I can't even. Shut up. No, like, no, Hold up. I can't. Like. You just. Am I supposed man. to say sorry, bro? Like, that's what it is. Yo. And then you only seeing the little inner bitty clips of my yeah, life. Facts, you ain't even seeing the stress I go through. Oh How many niggas at the door saying they know me? Asking, can I get him a black wristband instead of the regular one? You don't see none of that. You nah, don't see none I got to deal with. I'm glad my lady get it. I'd nip it in the butt early. You know what I'm saying? Because that could be the downfall of every situation. I'm not that was hilarious. Be, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be a fucking apologizer for that shit. It look lit, don't it? It is. It is. It is. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it is. Timothy. Hemi John. It is. Especially Allen. as you grow, it gets crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't got to wait lines no more. Everything free. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy. It's, it's lit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going to say sorry for that That's shit. That's fucked up. Man, bro. I'm glad, I'm glad you're transparent about that. You know, and then you're going to find someone who gets it, and they're going to mm-hmm. get it all the way, and y'all going to just... Mm-hmm. I think I got that. Facts. And, he, mm-hmm. and you get it probably when you weren't even looking or worried mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's how it be. Grown niggas. Kodak shit. voice. I hope so. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> 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 I'm done so, this man. nigga, man. Yo, so you say you take six hours, six hours. Well, 
Well, you ain't from Baton Rouge. So I'm about to say because it's six hours. <laughs> you know, are you preparing the booty eat? <laughs> like, but you said that only niggas from Baton Rouge say that. You got a lot of slang. I don't know if y'all been listening, uh-huh. but there's a lot of slang that's been kicked in this whole conversation and shit. Like, uh, hold up, ain't no slang, bro. Hold up, nah, because me, and New Orleans, and Baton Rouge starting to get a great relationship. I can't let you do that. Oh, I love it. I appreciate. So. Nah, hold up. So are you saying here on camera that they don't booty eat? That that's like no, a personal niggas, decision. Them niggas cut up. Oh shit. <laughs> and them niggas cut up like for real that's probably the first thing a bad rules nigga that's like the first thing they DM a bitch is like let me eat your ass yo chill <laughs> no cap I talked to a bunch of hoes from LSU so like I know like and she said and she said y'all approach us totally different from them you dig know? but like, she feel like they're more a friend they just know what they want or like you know what yeah, I'm they're saying? a little bit more country than us so they very much more straightforward you know yeah. like we 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 a li- we got a little we country but we got a very much more city with us so it's a bunch of pimp talk we talking a bunch of you know it's a bunch of cold them, them country niggas they about to really hey man <laughs> hey man all right so speaking of your home recently because he's saying he's a guest in Byron but he's like literally been around like <laughs> the top of the top tier and they like I still feel like a guest. That's, but, that's your humility, though. No, it's not. They oh, got a shit. reason. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. They got a lot of shit I'm not gamed on. Like, I didn't I didn't unintentionally disrespect a lot of legends. Because, like, I either go at them and say, bro, I'll fuck over you. Like, you can't rap with me. I love that shit. I done told legends yeah. that. And, and you know, yeah. people got to remind me that that's a legend because I look at shit differently because I'm a rapper. Y'all, y'all, uh, <laughs> y'all numbers, because, you know, I'm a 90s baby, so, like, Social media thing for me, like y'all numbers don't be matching. But then I, then I'm learning, I'm learning about groundwork and shit that was here before YouTube existed and shit like that. You did, but yeah, I didn't disrespect some people and this shit for no reason, bro. Not knowing. You think it's understood in Battle Rap though? Like it ain't just like the industry where like you'll get blackballed for that shit. It's like, oh, this nigga. Nah, I be fucking up. I be talking to like people that's in the business like this. Like, for real, my manager, Stop shout out, shout out, spells. My manager be introducing me to people, and he be like, "This," and he, you know, me be expecting to introduce me. He be like, "You supposed to act excited, nigga? What the fuck? You know who that is? They could get you on." And and I'm like, He's not "Damn, like that, as a person. I didn't only consume thirty battles, mm. still." And I, and that's not that's including my own battle raps, my homies battle raps, and when I got a battle, you've people. only watched thirty battles, bro. I've only consumed thirty battles in my life. Who are the battle rappers that you watch? Some of the some of your favorites. I I could tell you the exact order that went, and it doesn't change. That's how recent it is. Like first, I watched the same battle rap that everybody started with. My first battle ever was. Murder Mook versus Sirius Jones. If you ever watched that battle, you need to watch that battle. So, but I wasn't nowhere near interested in battle rap with this sort of shit. Like, you know, smack DVD Mook type Mook gave shit. a nigga six rounds. Yeah, facts. That shit has never happened again. So then, so then after that, I put that shit up. I'm fully invested in music, you mm-hmm. know, like fully. Like, I, I don't even check out battle rap. Mm-hmm. And I slowly started checking out battle rap again when I got more involved with Arizona. Met Jalopy. Yeah. I also met my nigga Hunter Jones. Like, he not in the battle rap scene, but he a battle rap fan. He loves it. So he was like telling me that shit when we was on the road when I was on tour and shit. He was like, man, I'm about to watch a battle rap. That shit like 45 minutes. It is. I'm bro. like, for real? And it be, it be worth it. Yeah, so it started in the same mode. I thought Charlie Clips was cool, so I watched Charlie Clips. And then I wa- was watching Charlie Clips battles till I saw Ill Will kill, kill him. Mm-hmm. I was watching Ill Will battles till I saw Briz Rothstein kill him. Hey, I wish Briz would come back to So I was Briz. watching Briz, and then after that, my homies threw me onto the Tay Rock Sue Surf 2 on 2. And that's <laughs> when I just was like, I'm just watching these niggas only. Bro. So, like, I haven't really ventured off to two. I'm just finding out about Danny Myers, whole mm-hmm. GOAT legend. I'm just finding out about Whole A-Ward. Parallel universe. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just A-Ward's finding... a new legend. Yeah, he, thanks. But he been putting in his work, you know. I'm just... Nitty a new legend, too. I Nitty, I'm just, I'm not just finding out about Nitty because he, but I'm just getting hip to, like, what niggas been talking about because nah, I've right. only consumed, like, a legit a third of battles and some of the battles is, like I said, my own ops. You ain't never seen him at all his battles? 
Uh, yeah, salute to Pat Stay. Rest in peace to Pat Stay. Yeah, rest in peace, Pat Stay. I fuck with, I fuck with uh, Pat Stay versus Calico. Pat Stay showed, showed, showed a white boy fun. holding his own against a real, real Detroit nigga. I was like, damn. Not right. like that again either. Not like that. Yeah, but uh, that was hard. But uh, Hitman, they they was talking to me about Hitman Holla show. And, Hitman uh, Holla got the most million yeah. views, bat- plus battles in battle rap history. Mm-hmm. I think I, like I think I smoke him though. Oh, bruh! No, I'm, I think you would too. I'm about to tell you, like, he like can, Hitman, even, cool. even with his little brother on stage, he got too. some. He, I have some for his brother too. Oh my god! Like no, for real, like you see his energy. That's a show like no. Up. I'm so serious because niggas, niggas is always Y'all niggas. Probably the same height too. I don't care. No, he not. I'm a big dog. I'm really bigger than him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like no, like. Hit me out. People, people ask me all the time, like, why you not on Hitman Show? And they got, you know, they got people that was made for Hitman Show, and they got people that was made to battle Hitman. I'm made to battle Hitman. Like, I'll Yo, fuck over, dude, oh you know? God. That might be the, uh, that might be the. No, for real. Everybody hitting me about that. Why you not trying to get on Hitman Show? Why you not begging to be on this show? Because I'm made to battle him ain't gonna on somebody else's platform. We, yeah. Me and him both supposed to be getting a check. I'm paying my dues right now. It'll probably happen. You dig? Who you like? Okay, so on some hometown shit, mm-hmm. an official co-signed you. An official, she. That's my girl. Official, Shout out, old yeah, goat official. She is old Bardashian. She she yes, bodies indeed. niggas and females. Yes, indeed. And so she ain't gonna sugarcoat, you know, nothing when she's co-signing something. She you know what I'm she she gave me. She was delivering me secret messages before she gave me my co-sign. Like she was refusing to co-sign me at one point. I was I was starting to grow resentment, get bitter and all that. I'm like, damn, damn. Oh, oh don't see me? That's crazy. But kinda of find out she been trying to give me little tips and pointers like you ain't that yet. Mm. You ain't that here, yeah, you need to do this. If you think somebody done said it before, don't rap it. Mm. I agree with that. Fix your energy. Why should get recycled? Yeah, perform. Really I don't think perform. You anything. Nah, I I don't, but like I said, with me only consuming 30 battles, I only know so much. So I'll be thinking my shit so original so when crazy, great minds bro. think alike. And there's a lot of great minds in bro, battle rap. That's like saying uh, I started hooping. I'm I, like, I'm D1, I'm about to get drafted. I'm only consuming 30 battles over here. Yeah, I know. Only started just watching basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I only got like eight battles. You did? Like, battles, I yeah, hosted yeah. one of them battles. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. I was unbiased too. Gave my nigga Shrub that, ah, I love you, little boy. But yeah, I was uh, unbiased. Thanks. Niggas was mad at me for that battle. I just had to be real, bro. We was out they there. They know us. We up. was in the street too. That was yeah. Fire. We was outside, bro. bro we was yeah, outside. Was... Niggas just making moments within the culture, that like shit was type hard, shit. Bro. Yeah, that yeah. Shit was hard, nigga. Yeah. So yeah, but. And now you taking out. I'm learning this shit though, and I'm gonna pay more respect to it because that's really disrespectful. How much I don't know, you know, like mm-hmm. I'm a, But niggas, niggas, lucky that I only know that. We try to really learn about cadences and flows and. Reference pulls and how to scheme properly and rhyme patterns. Like, wait till I really mad. It's, gonna... it's crazy that you want to be better at that because, like, you already do that shit, bro. I'm not like that yet. Like, mm. I'm like that to these niggas because they be lil. Like, mm. like, they really, I'm just. On the big stage, how you like, how would it Oh, how I can't wait it? to feel that big Steve. Nah, I think I'm gonna kill I think I'm gonna tear that Nigga, shit yeah. up. Like, like, Dog, a, that's just coming sooner than you think. When I saw when I saw the gnome stage in Houston after the home event against True Folk, once I saw the gnome stage, I'm like, yeah, this is crazy. I could have been backstage the whole time, but I had to watch it from the crowd and be a fan right be quick because I never saw no shit like that before. And I'm look, I'm like really peeping. None, none going crazy, rebelling, daddy, my daddy, my is doubling back with the, like made me really look bad. I'm like, hold up, I'm really. That's it's when a I really. for real. It's that's like, when I really gla- realized. It's like, it's like gladiators, nigga. Yeah, yeah that, nigga. niggas, Titans is going to war. Yes. Niggas is really banging easy. it out. It ain't easy to be able to have somebody say shit about you, your peoples, and your family. Your and, family, and your and kids, now, all that, and not react and fuck up the bad. Bro. It's a lot. It takes mental strength, nigga. Nah, and that's when I realized how part of I was a part of a community and how big it was. Like I, I really was sleep on it. Like my manager always tell me that shit though. Like he was like, nigga, why you think you got a manager now, nigga? Like, nah, for real. You big, nigga. Like we about to be up. Like we about to make some money. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it's cool. But this shit, like, it was still a hobby to me because I don't be feeling impressed yet because I don't think I did. 
ain't had me no T-top rum nitty third yet. I ain't had me no Sue Surf Hitman Holly yet. Like, you, you know it, like, huh? You got a slogan that you gonna use outside of, outside of Louisiana? No, I just made one for, for Louisiana that I use. Nah, nah, I ain't got no slogans. You think slogans are important? Fucking right. Hell yeah, they are. It's like fucking, trademarks. Nigga. Fucking right. I just, I just rather, I rather that shit come. You gonna earn your slogan? My, 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 yeah, I ain't gonna force it on a nigga. My stand is really high because I'm really a rapper first. These niggas is battlers. Yep. And I'm a real rapper. That's why, I, that's why my trajectory a little faster. Even if a nigga write. They can't rap better than me, but if a nigga think he writing, he think he all intricate, and he think he should be high on a pedestal, let me know, because I'm a real rapper. Yeah, facts. I bring everything, nigga. The performance and all yeah, that. Yeah, I'm a real, so, like. So, okay, so, because I'll talk about you in battle rap all day. So, when you, uh, when you're focused on the battle, mm -hmm. what's like, yo, unless you don't want to give that up, do you just shut off everything? Like, you I got to. completely duck off? For like weeks at a time? Yeah, I just told you my relationships don't be working. They be, they be mad. But now you got to be doing something. <laughs> um, and then I'm always, you know, I don't write my shit no more, so I'm always this all D. I'm really like that thinking, looking at shit, observing shit. Oh, water bottle. Making something about a water bottle. Like, you literally. Want, do you spar with the homies at all? Mm -hmm. July bit, Flo Colombo, mm -hmm. Mastermind Shrub, my nigga Jose. Mm-hmm. My nigga Dollar, I spoke with a couple people. So what, uh, now that, you know, cause I feel like you got this battle shit on lock, I'm hyped to see where you go the rest of this mm -hmm, year. Mm -hmm. and we gonna see. I don't see nothing but big things, bro. That's all I see, bro. October gonna be good, I'm about to go to Philly in a, a week. I'm about to oh, cut shit. up out there, yeah, I'm about to be. Now that's my second time. My first time in Philly, I was on Midnight Madness. So my second time. Yeah, it's, flow, nigga. it's coming back. I'm Money sure it's flow, coming nigga. back. Yeah, but Midnight Madness made superstars, nigga. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah, I'm my price, my price raise at the, at the Midnight Madness. It was like, bro, the fact that you was even invited. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you right. saying you a guest, but you nah, nigga, you a battle rapper, bro. You in there? You just starting up. Yeah, I don't you, feel you're, it you're yet. You're skipping I, those steps. You gotta body someone crazy. Yeah, you have, a, you have to have a, you have viral moments too. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying yeah, to figure yeah. out what you gotta do. But you doing it, nigga. You yeah, gotta keep, like, keep, keep racking yeah, them up, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm just a rapper first, so I'm not impressed with this yet, cause I'm I'm expecting more. Just like from my rap correct, but I'm not gonna be impressed with everything yet, cause I really ain't seen Birdman in the project with two rollers on and Prowlers and PT Cruisers back when they was like, yeah. Like I just know how big it's really supposed to be and what it's gonna be. So like this is just pan dudes. So when can we expect more music? Tomorrow. Wait, when is it? It's uh, when will this air? Yeah, it ain't no pressure. I, I dropped something on so, September 9th called Paul Bunyan. Uh, yeah, you can. I just All saw right. the Paul Bunyan drop. Yeah, yeah, they I'm about to drop. I'm about to drop that so September 9th. So you singles right now? Only, only mm -hmm. till the world tell me give him an album. Just like till the world tell me I'm one of the biggest ra battle rappers to do it. Like once the world tell me give him an album, I'm gonna really hop out the window with my singles. I'm gonna make sure each one potent like I've always had. Mm -hmm. You know, the last single I dropped was really. Type remember type shit. Like I can still perform it in a crowd of Phoenix, a crowd in LA, and a crowd in motherfucking um, New Orleans gonna sing the song with me. So. We gotta get you on a show to perform too. Oh yeah, let me come rock out. I ain't yeah. did that in a minute too. I ain't been on tour in a. It's healthy. Oh yeah. You know, oh is. yeah, I'm gonna get active. It's me, you know, I throw shit in the crowd. I throw weed yeah. in the crowd and all that. It's like since I can't it's crowd surfing too big. Man, so fucking, I feel like. I feel like a lot of your focus is, because battle rap's gonna take up your focus. Really it do push. all the time. Like it's definitely that hindered, it's definitely that hindered my music career in, in ways where I'm moving a step slower mm -hmm. with music. But I don't mind because I'm so involved in my businesses at the time yeah. that I know the proper investments I'm gonna make to be able to really everything pay to play out. They, they be scared to tell y'all that it's pay to play out shit. So if you really wanna be a rapper, you gonna need. Buku money. You need bread. You gonna need buku money, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah. It did. So we talk about businesses. Tell them about your weed business. I got I got a couple of my own strands. I'm partnering with some dudes in Cali. You know they work with popular brands like brands like Jita and mm. all that. I got some homies that only dispense. They just kept telling me like, you already did the street side. Then it's an official. 
come over here. So they linked me with the scientists and I got some fire. Should have had you bring we, some samples. Oh man. That's all right. We're gonna have a little we're gonna get a flight. A flight. Yeah, yeah, you dig gonna have to come. Yeah. Yeah, now nah, y'all gonna have to come test everything. We're gonna have to bring y'all to the fucking warehouse and all this. You really pick through shit. Yeah, come to Cali. Yeah, yeah you no did. What so, the like, fuck? Say no getting mind. down with that. Plus, I got the smoke shop. And we I was gonna do the interview there, too. We still mm -hmm, gonna go do mm -hmm. an on site interview. Like y'all gotta the come check shop. it out, man. We got a bunch of new products in. I'm happy, man. You you going fucking crazy, bro. So, oh, yeah. Let, let me know. What's, what what we should expect next? You know, besides the battle royale, what should we expect next before the, this fourth quarter? Really, it's, it's about the, what I think. This ain't even me dreaming. I think I'm about to, like, once I release the next three songs I'm about to drop, I'm really going to be getting no Meek Mill comparisons. That's what I really think. Like, mm. like a street nigga that get busy in that battle rap shit, but that's then transition greatly over to music better than any of them. Mm. Like, that's why I'm happy for, that's why I'm having battle rap in my life, because it's really a platform. But I'm really great at the music shit, like, ridiculous. I'm trying to be in them spaces. Nigga, we got a song, nigga, you playing. Yeah, I knew he was gonna bring that shit up. I was waiting for him to say something. No, nigga, we cut. did that, nah. Nah, I'm about to, See, have to send you some open. He don't, he don't wait to drop. So I, was, I be forced to stack. Bro, listen. That shit gotta stop though, cause I'm sitting on so much. The music so fire. This shit ain't about you, me. You, you know, what I'm, you know, you really I'm, on a different level. This ain't, this, this ain't about me. This my brother. We, right, we got right, shit. Right, and right, shit right, we just right, chilling. Right, right. Still some new opens. Yeah, you I did. You. Yeah, we get, <laughs> we get busy, like. Some new opens. Nah, man. yeah. For real, for real, but. You my brother, bro, and I, I I don't see nothing but like great things like continuing to happen for you. You know what for I'm saying? For both of us, bro. That's yeah. why I had to come here. Like yeah, this, this the beginning for a lot of shit, no, and bro. I feel it. I yeah, feel yeah. good about everything. That's why I don't mind the hiccups I run into in my my personal life because what's about to happen in my business life and on my path is about to be fucking fire. What would you say to a young person coming up that wants to be an entrepreneur and be an artist? What would you tell him? Don't try to battle me. Don't try to do music that's like mine. I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Like, for real, all I could see is uh, it's cliche, but you got to stay focused. Like, your focus got to be greater than everything. Stop looking at rappers for inspiration. Some of these niggas, I write for them. Y'all favorite niggas, like I understand NDAs and made decent money for writing for niggas that y'all think working hard. You know, like, stop, look at people like Will Smith, Kevin Hart, mm. Steve Jobs, when he was alive, like, look at people who really done trailblazed in the areas, like, the, the amount of focus, Kevin Hart especially. Stepping out Cause, the comfort Cause I personally don't think Kevin Hart is the most hilarious person in the world. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm with Dave Chappelle or something, but like, you can't deny the niggas work. No, so if you're not willing to get on that treadmill, don't even try, unless it's a hobby. If it's a hobby, enjoy yourself. Be creative as possible. But if you're trying to be Michael Jackson, stay focused. Stay fo Leave that little bitch, leave that little nigga alone. Not alone, but alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's facts, Other man. things more important. You is the most important thing. If you want to be a creator, just know you the most important thing. And if you're not ready to be selfish like that, if you want to be selfless and care about other people, this is not the fail for you. Mm. This is not the fail for you. You the most important thing. Straight up. All right, last question. Mm. Top three favorite artists, top three worst artists of all time. Top three favorite artists. Rappers. Well, Wayne. Salute. Easy. <laughs> Salute. Uh, Wayne. You go harder for Wayne than most niggas I know. Because he's really the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> like, no cap, bro. Best rapper that ever is just like, <laughs> like, come on, man. Tupac, like a top 25 rapper. Wayne is like top one. You dig? Top God, God bless the truth. He you said, see why he's sneezing, bro? Yeah. God bless the truth. Like, he's Wayne. Top one. Like, Wayne, Kanye, Drake. But all them, all them, them two could change all the time. I think Rick Ross great. I think fucking uh, 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 
who else? I, I, fuck, I fuck with Kevin Gates. I think Kevin Gates, like, Kevin Gates I think is Kevin Gates a top dog out of the newer class yeah. that people sleep on. I, I hate that his antics yeah. outweigh his music, because his music, for real, some of the most personal shit since Drake. What about Young Boy? You young Boy, a great. Out of his generation, huh? He in our generation too. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think his reach more global than like what they get credit for. Like, Hell yeah, man, he be man, speaking man. too. Sometimes they get a little repetitive, but that is that's part of his generation. Like, they, they, we got to keep getting the bread. They got to keep getting with work. That's what, what the, the baby works? do. The worst. I don't really think they got no garbage music, bro. They got music that ain't for me. But I don't really think they got no garbage Everybody music. Trash, if, if you get traction, you that's something you're doing. It's something you call it trash. It yeah, that's crazy. something. If you if you drew my eyes, that's why I tweet the way I tweet. People hate the way I tweet. You're transparent, nigga. Yeah, but people hate the you way I tweet. But you. like, <laughs> like if I did something to get you to look, I did my job because I am an entertainer. Yeah. And I got you writing thank pieces on this shit that took me five seconds. I smoked my blunt and thought of some stupid well, shit. I swear, niggas be having, we have real fun with these apps. <laughs> <laughs> I be sitting there yeah, smoking, playing 2K. Once a time out come, I think of some stupid. <laughs> I look, check Twitter later, a thousand retweets, hate messages, yeah, that death threats. Yeah, that shit ain't hard for you, nigga. Yeah, nah, nah. Bro, you out of here, man. You fucking... Oh, yeah, we active, baby. Yeah. Yo, so let them know where they can find my motherfucking brother. I'm, sorry. I'm a little... I'm Google a little Capo Bravado. It's going to pop up. Like, even Siri probably tell you who I am. Alexis, that bitch know me, too. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude Alexis know me, too. You dig? All the Alexis just know me, you know? Uh, even the Lexus company know me. Yo, like, <laughs> so, yeah, but YouTube, Apple time. Music... All that Capo Bravado, out of town underscore Capo on Instagram. It's Baby Gator on Twitter. I done got suspended from Twitter like 10 times. You did a new Twitter and uh, Snapchat. If you ever see me in the streets and you're a good looking woman, I get that to you, you know? Where can we find your smoke shop and your trees? On Glendale and 61st Avenue. Type in Smoke Casa, you did. Come fuck with us. We got. Everything you need from vapes to CBD to tobacco products, whatever. I'm going to bless your game, man. You're going to get a nice little discount because you know me. I appreciate you, man. You know what I appreciate you. Is. Easy way to act. Here. Oh, Definition yeah. Definition of it. We got only active motherfuckers in here, bud. I'm high for your next battle. I can't speak on it, but Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's be real about man. life. We out, man. We out.